Hey guys, Patrick Foy here with Learn in 5, where you can learn After Effects tutorials in 5 minutes or less. So today we're going to be showing you how to make a psychedelic lava lamp background. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we are going to start a new composition. Go up here to Composition, New Composition, right here. I have uh, basic HD settings, 29.97 frame rate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, go down here to background color, and I like to leave it at white just so you can see the contrast between the lava and the background. So you can really put it whatever you want, but that's what I prefer it at. Uh, with our new composition, we're going to start a new layer. We're going to have a new solid. Go ahead and make this red or blue or green or whatever you want the lava to be. And with this layer selected, we're going to go up here to Effect, Simulation, and Mr. Mercury. So now we have a red solid doing something gnarly like this. All right, go ahead and grab this right here and move this back just a little bit so it's starting to produce at the very beginning of the composition. So now we've done that. Let's go ahead and while we have this selected, click S on the keyboard to bring up the scale value. Let's go ahead and take this up to about 250. There we go. All right, now while we have this scaled up, this is uh, the producer right here, and we want to go ahead and use the second value for the producer and move it down just off screen so it looks something like that. We are going to go over here to Velocity, bump this up to a 15. So now we're starting to see it come together a little bit, changing the dynamics of this blob. Go over here to Birth Rate, and let's, uh, let's decrease it to about 0.3. So changing ever so slightly. Uh, longevity is what you want to play with next, and that you're going to want to bring up to about a 5. And still not too much difference, but this is actually where the game changer is, and that is the gravity. So we're going to take this to a negative value, let's say about uh, negative 5. So we start to see a little bit more come into play. You set it a negative value, so these actually float up. So resistance, we're going to want to set that to, let's try 4, yeah. So now it's starting to come together a little bit more, but we're not done yet. Because what we want to do is we want to take these blobs and actually change the size of them a little bit. So we'll take the birth size to 0.5, and you want to match the birth size and the death size together so you have a nice, clean, crisp image like that. Okay. We're going to pull up Box Blur. Go ahead and pull that up, and we're going to take that radius up to about a 20. And that will give us our lava lamp background. All right, guys, well, if you learned something, feel free to leave us a tip, give us a like, and make sure to subscribe to our channel to give your videos that extra oomph with our really cool After Effects tutorials to really make your YouTube videos pop. Once again, I was Patrick Foy. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and we hope to see you in the next video. Baby.